rewinding is the process used in some cases to repair shorted, rounded, or otherwise damaged motor coils. The new coil is reinstalled along with newly rebuilt stators, armatures, or field coils. Rewinding is a delicate process that is performed in-house by one of our skilled rewind technicians. One of our winding technicians is ready to record data needed to make coils and rewind the motor. The technician carefully record data, including number of slots, how many coil turns, pitch, and size of the wire needed to make coils and rewind the motor, whether it is lap wound or concentric, and if it has any special configurations or design. The data is recorded and entered into our database. Next, the technician carefully removes the faulty windings. As the coils have been removed, we must now remove the leftover varnish, insulation, and any contaminants. We do this in our media blaster. Different than a sandblaster, it uses a soft walnut shell to prevent any damage to the laminations, but still removes any debris, as that could lead to a loss of energy efficiency in the motor. Once the blasting process is finished, the stator and all the pieces of the disassembled motor are then brought to a specialized machine that will steam clean and wash the parts, removing any debris or other contaminants. When the stator core has been thoroughly cleaned and inspected, it is now ready to have insulation added to the lamination slots. First, we use an insulation paint to paint inside the stator. Next, liner insulation is carefully measured and installed within the stator slots to keep the coils from making contact with the stator core. Using the data taken earlier, the winder will form coils using the appropriate winding head. The winder technician will use concentric, single phase, three phase, or continuity heads, depending on what type of motor is being wound. During the coil making process, the winder will feel the wire for any nicks, scratches, or other manufacturing imperfections and replace if necessary. For this motor, the technician will need 48 coils in 12 groups of four. The coils are then added to the stator slots and grouped according to the motor's configuration. After the coils are in place, wedging is added to prevent rotor to winding contact and to further insulate the coil. After the coils have been inserted, our winder technician adds lacing to add strength and stability to the newly formed windings. As a final step, new motor leads are connected and all work is thoroughly inspected for quality. Before the stator can be cleared to proceed to the next process, it undergoes dielectric tests to confirm the quality and electrical integrity of the newly formed windings. Now that we know the windings are good, they are now heated to 90 to 120 degrees to remove any internal moisture and 
improve varnish bonding to the coils. The motor is heated for a brief time in the bake oven to prepare it for dipping. After this, the stator is dipped in a special varnish treatment. The varnish bonds the windings together and prevents the coil movement within the stator core that could result in motor failure. This process also protects the windings from contamination. Once the varnish has fully penetrated the windings, the stator is then sent back to the bake oven to be cured before going to final assembly and more testing. Global Electronic Services believes in the best quality at the best price in the quickest turnaround. Please let us know if you have any questions. We are here 24-7 to help.